Conversation 1. Family breakfast. Listen and practice. John, do you often have breakfast with your family? Yes, we try to eat together every morning. It's a nice way to start the day. How about your family? We do the same. What do you usually prepare for breakfast? We keep it simple, usually cereal, toast, and fruit. What about at your house? We like to mix it up. Sometimes it's pancakes, other days it's oatmeal or eggs. The kids love variety. That sounds delicious. Do you all help with the preparation? Yes. Everyone has a job. The kids set the table and my partner and I cook. How do you manage it? That's a great system. We're not as organized, but I think we'll try assigning tasks like you do. Conversation 2. Morning Routine Listen and practice. Good morning, John. What time do you usually wake up? I usually wake up at 6.30 a.m. How about you, Lisa? I'm an early bird. I get up at 5.45 a.m. to do some yoga before work. Wow, that's early. What else is part of your morning routine? After yoga, I take a quick shower and get dressed. Then I make a healthy breakfast. You? I just grab a coffee and check my emails before heading out. Maybe I should try your approach. It works well for me. Do you have any morning habits you'd like to change? Actually, I'd like to start exercising in the morning. Maybe I'll try that tomorrow. Conversation 3. Talking with kids. Listen and practice. John, how do you usually start conversations with your kids? I like to ask them about their plans for the day. What's your approach, Lisa? I usually ask them what they're looking forward to. It helps set a positive tone. Do your kids talk easily? Most of the time, yes, but sometimes it's challenging. How do you handle it when they're not talkative? I try to share something about my day first. It often encourages them to open up. Any other strategies you use? That's a good idea. I also find that doing an activity together, like cooking, can lead to good conversations. I'll have to try that. How do you handle serious topics with your kids? I try to create a judgment-free zone and listen more than I talk. It seems to work well. Conversation 4. Asking for help. Listen and practice. I'm struggling with this report. Do you have a moment to help me? Of course. What part are you having trouble with? I'm not sure how to structure the data analysis section. Any suggestions? I'd start with an overview, then break it down by key metrics. Want me to show you an example? That would be really helpful. Do you mind if I take notes? Not at all. It's always good to have a reference. Any other parts you're unsure about? The conclusion is giving me trouble too. How do you usually approach it? I summarize the main findings and their implications. Let's work on that after the analysis section. Conversation 5. Offering help. Listen and practice. You look stressed. Is everything okay? I'm a bit overwhelmed with this project. There's so much to do. I've been through similar situations. Would you like some help? That would be great. Are you sure you have the time? I can definitely spare some time. What's the most pressing task? The client presentation is due tomorrow and I'm nowhere near finished. Let's tackle it together. We can divide the work. How does that sound? That sounds perfect. Thank you so much for offering to help. Conversation 7. Expressing Opinions Listen and practice. What do you think about the new company policy? I think it's a step in the right direction. How about you? I'm not so sure. Seems a bit restrictive to me. Interesting. What aspects do you find restrictive? The new working hours mainly. Don't you think they're inflexible? I see your point, but I appreciate the structure it provides. I hadn't thought about it that way. Are there other parts you like? Yes, the increased vacation days are a big plus for me. Conversation 7. Agreeing and Disagreeing Listen and Practice Don't you agree that climate change is the biggest threat we face? 
While it's serious, I think there are other equally pressing issues. Really? Like what? I can't think of anything more urgent. Poverty and inequality, for instance. They affect millions daily. I see your point. But climate change impacts everyone rich or poor. True, but solving inequality could help us address climate change, too. I hadn't considered that connection. How do you think they're related? People in poverty often can't prioritize environmental concerns. It's all connected. Conversation 8. Favorite foods. Listen and practice. What's your all-time favorite food? I love a good pizza. Nothing beats it for me. How about you? I'm a sushi enthusiast. Do you like Japanese food? I haven't tried much beyond sushi. Any recommendations? You should try ramen or tempura. They're delicious. What's your favorite pizza topping? I'm a classic margarita fan. Simple but perfect. Do you cook Japanese food at home? I've tried making sushi rolls. It's fun but tricky. Do you make your own pizza? Sometimes it's a fun weekend activity. We should have a cooking day sometime. Conversation 9. Lunch order. Listen and practice. It's almost lunchtime. Any ideas for today? I'm thinking of ordering from that new Thai place. Interested in joining? Sounds great. What dish are you planning to get? I'm leaning towards Pad Thai. Have you tried it before? Yes, it's delicious. I might go for the green curry. Should we ask others to join? Good idea. Let's see if Mark and Emily want to order too. I'll message them. Do we need to order drinks as well? Let's check with them. I'll probably just stick with water. Conversation 10. Workplace meeting. Listen and practice. Have you prepared for today's meeting? Yes. I've got my presentation ready. How about you? I've reviewed the agenda and made some notes. Are you nervous about presenting? A little. It's a big project. Do you have any tips for staying calm? Take deep breaths and remember you know your material. Want to practice together? That would be great. Should we go over the main points now? Sure. Let's start with the project overview. What's your opening line? I'm planning to start with our key objectives. Does that sound good? Conversation 11. Project discussion. Listen and practice. How's the new project coming along? It's challenging, but we're making progress. What about your part? I'm on track, but I've hit a small obstacle with the data analysis. Can I help with that? What seems to be the problem? The results are inconsistent. I'm not sure if it's a software issue or human error. Let's take a look together. Maybe a fresh pair of eyes will help. That would be great. When are you free to go over it? How about tomorrow afternoon? We can book a meeting room. Conversation 12. Coffee break. Listen and practice. Ready for a coffee break? Definitely. I could use a caffeine boost. Where should we go? How about the new cafe down the street? I heard they have great pastries. Sounds perfect. Do you usually take sugar in your coffee? Just a splash of milk for me. What's your usual order? I like a strong black coffee. Sometimes an espresso if I need an extra kick. Nice. Shall we invite anyone else from the team? Good idea. Let's ask Sarah and Mike if they want to join us. Conversation 13. Doctor's Visit. Listen and practice. I have a doctor's appointment next week. Do you have any advice? Try to write down your symptoms and questions beforehand. It helps a lot. That's a good idea. Do you get nervous at doctor visits? A little. I find deep breathing helps. What are you going for if you don't mind me asking? Just a routine checkup, but I always worry they'll find something wrong. I understand. Remember, regular checkups help catch issues early. You're right. Do you go for regular checkups, too? Yes, I try to go annually. It's important for maintaining good health. Conversation 14. 
Making appointments. Listen and practice. I need to schedule several appointments this week. Any tips for staying organized? I use a digital calendar and set reminders. How do you usually keep track? I've been using a paper planner, but I often forget to check it. Maybe I should try digital. It's been a game changer for me. Do you have any specific appointments you're dreading? Dentist appointment. I always get anxious about those. How about you? I'm not a fan of the dentist either. I try to book it first thing in the morning to get it over with. That's smart. Do you have any strategies for remembering to confirm appointments? I set two reminders one the day before and another the morning of the appointment. Conversation 15 Health and Fitness. Listen and practice. Have you been keeping up with your fitness routine lately? I've been trying to go to the gym three times a week. How about you? I've started yoga classes. It's challenging, but I enjoy it. What do you do at the gym? Mainly weightlifting and some cardio. How often do you do yoga? I go to classes twice a week. Do you have any fitness goals you're working towards? I'm trying to improve my overall strength. What about you? I'm focusing on flexibility and stress reduction. Have you ever tried yoga? Not yet, but after hearing about your experience, I might give it a try. Conversation 16. Personal Challenges Listen and practice. What's been your biggest personal challenge recently? Balancing work and personal life. I often find myself working late. And you? Mine is sticking to a regular sleep schedule. How are you addressing your challenge? I'm trying to set stricter boundaries. Do you have any strategies for better sleep? I'm using a sleep tracking app and avoiding screens before bed. Has it been hard to set boundaries? Yes, especially with urgent projects. How has the sleep app been working for you? It's helping, but it's a slow process. Have you considered talking to your manager about workload? That's a good suggestion. I think I'll bring it up in our next one-on-one -on -one meeting. Conversation 17. Day out planning. Listen and practice. What should we do for our day out this weekend? How about hiking in the nearby national park? That sounds fun. Should we pack a picnic lunch? Great idea. I'll bring sandwiches if you can bring snacks and drinks. Perfect. What time should we start to avoid the midday heat? Let's aim to set out by 8 a.m. Is that too early for you? Not at all. Should we invite anyone else to join us? Good thought. Maybe we could ask Tom and Sarah if they're free. Conversation 18. News Discussion. Listen and practice. Did you hear about the new health care bill that just passed? Yes, I did. It's quite controversial, isn't it? What's your take on it? I'm concerned about how it might affect insurance costs. You? I'm more focused on the potential improvements in coverage. Do you think it'll pass the Senate? It's hard to say. The debate seems pretty heated. Have you read any good analysis of it? I saw an interesting article in The Economist. Want me to send you the link? That would be great. Do you generally trust their reporting? Yes, I find they usually provide balanced coverage. What's your go-to news source? Conversation 19. Weather chat. Listen and practice. This weather is unusually warm for this time of year, isn't it? You're right. I can't remember a February this warm before. Do you think it's due to climate change? It's possible, but we shouldn't confuse weather with climate. True. How do you think this will affect the spring plants? They might bloom early. I hope we don't get a late frost. That would be a shame. Are you planning any outdoor activities to enjoy the warmth? I'm thinking about doing some early gardening. How about you? Conversation 20. Sports Talk. Listen and practice. Did you catch the game last night? I missed it. How did our team do? We won in overtime. It was so exciting. That's great news. Who scored the winning point? 
Johnson made an amazing three-pointer in the last second. Wow, I wish I'd seen that. Is he having a good season overall? He's been on fire lately. Do you think we have a shot at the championship? If Johnson keeps playing like this, I'd say we have a good chance. Conversation 21. Hobbies. Listen and practice. What do you like to do in your free time? I'm really into photography. How about you? That sounds interesting. I enjoy painting and drawing. Cool. Do you have a favorite subject to paint? I love landscapes. What do you like to photograph? I'm fascinated by ST photography, capturing candid moments. That must be challenging. How do people react when they notice you? It varies. Some don't mind, others are curious. It's part of the excitement. Conversation 22. Close shopping. Listen and practice. I need to buy a new outfit for the company party. Any suggestions? How about a classic black dress? They're always elegant. True, but I was thinking of something more colorful. What do you think of red? Red could be stunning. Have you considered accessories to go with it? Not yet. What would you recommend with a red dress? Perhaps some gold jewelry and black heels? That sounds perfect. Where do you usually shop for formal wear? I like that boutique downtown. Want to go shopping together this weekend? Conversation 23. Compliments. Listen and practice. Your presentation today was really impressive. Thank you. I was nervous, but I'm glad it went well. The way you handled the Q&A was particularly good. How did you prepare? I anticipated potential questions and practiced responses. I appreciate your kind words. Well deserved. Your hard work really showed. Thanks again. I noticed your report last week was excellent too. That's very kind of you to say. It's nice to have our efforts recognized, isn't it? Absolutely. Positive feedback can be really motivating. Conversation 24. Date conversation. Listen and practice. So tell me about your family. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have an older sister. How about you? I'm an only child. What's it like having a sibling? It's fun most of the time. We're quite close. Do you enjoy being an only child? Mostly, yes, though I sometimes wished for a brother or sister growing up. I can understand that. What kind of activities did you enjoy as a child? I loved reading and playing imaginary games. How about you and your sister? We were always outside, climbing trees and riding bikes. Those were good times. Conversation 25. Self-introduction. Listen and practice. Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm new to the company. Nice to meet you, Lisa. I'm John. Welcome aboard. Thanks, John. What department do you work in? I'm in marketing. How about you? What's your role here? I've joined the IT team as a software developer. How long have you been with the company? I've been here for three years now. How are you finding it so far? Everyone's been very welcoming. Is there anything I should know about the company culture? We have a great team spirit here. Don't hesitate to ask if you need any help settling in. Conversation 26. Restaurant order. Listen and practice. Have you decided what you're going to order? I'm torn between the pasta and the steak. What about you? I'm leaning towards the grilled salmon. Have you tried it here before? Not yet, but I've heard good things about it. Should we get an appetizer? That sounds good. How about the bruschetta to share? Perfect. And what about drinks? Do you prefer red or white wine? I usually go for white with fish. Do you have a favorite? They have a nice Chardonnay here. Shall we get a bottle to share? Conversation 27. Apologizing. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I missed our meeting yesterday. It's okay. These things happen. Is everything all right? Yes. I just completely lost track of time. It won't happen again. 
I appreciate your apology. Was there something distracting you? I was focused on finishing an urgent project, but that's no excuse. I understand. Maybe we can reschedule for next week. That would be great. Thank you for being so understanding. No problem. We all have off days sometimes. Let's move forward. Conversation 28. Accepting Apology. Listen and practice. I feel terrible about forgetting your birthday. Can you forgive me? Of course. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? I know how much you value celebrating birthdays. Really, it's fine. I appreciate you acknowledging it. I'd like to make it up to you. How about dinner this weekend? That sounds lovely. You don't have to, but I'd enjoy that. Great. Is there any place in particular you'd like to go? How about that new Italian place? I've been wanting to try it. Conversation 29. Cooking together. Listen and practice. What shall we cook for dinner tonight? How about trying that new pasta recipe we found? Sounds good. Do we have all the ingredients? I think so, but we might need to buy some fresh basil. Okay, I can pick that up on my way home. What can you start preparing? I'll begin by chopping the vegetables and boiling the water for pasta. Perfect. I'll handle the sauce when I get back. Teamwork makes the dream work. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to our culinary creation. Conversation 30. Evening routine. Listen and practice. What do you usually do to unwind in the evening? I like to read a book or watch a bit of TV. How about you? I usually go for a short walk to clear my head. Do you have a favorite genre to read? I enjoy mystery novels. Have you read any good books lately? I just finished a great science fiction novel. Want to borrow it? Sure, that sounds interesting. Do you ever have trouble falling asleep? Sometimes I find having a cup of herbal tea helps. Any sleep tips? I try to avoid screens an hour before bed. It seems to help me relax. Conversation 31. Couples chat. Listen and practice. How was your day, honey? It was pretty hectic. How about yours? Mine was good, but I missed you. Want to plan a date night soon? That's a great idea. What did you have in mind? Maybe dinner and a movie this Saturday? Sounds perfect. Should we try that new restaurant downtown? I'd love that. Oh, and did you remember we have brunch with my parents on Sunday? Yes, I've got it marked on the calendar. Looking forward to it. Conversation 32. Family Relationships. Listen and practice. How do you get along with your siblings? Pretty well, though we have our moments. How about you? I'm an only child, so it's just me. Do you ever wish you were an only child? Sometimes, but I mostly enjoy having siblings. Do you ever wish you had brothers or sisters? Occasionally, especially when I see close sibling relationships. What's the best part of having siblings? Having built-in friends and support. Do you think being an only child shaped your personality? Probably. I'm quite independent. How has having siblings influenced you? It's taught me to compromise and share. I think it's made me more patient. Conversation 33. Couple Argument Listen and practice. You forgot our anniversary again. How could you? I'm sorry. I've been so busy with work. I didn't mean to forget. That's no excuse. This day is important to me. Don't you care? Of course I care. I feel terrible about forgetting. How can I make it up to you? I don't know. This isn't the first time you've forgotten important dates. You're right. I need to do better. What if we put reminders in both our calendars? That's a start, but I need to feel like a priority in your life. You are a priority. I'll prove it to you. Can we plan a special belated celebration? Conversation 34. Suspecting infidelity. Listen and practice. You've been acting strange lately. Is there something you want to tell me? What do you mean? 
Everything's fine. Why do you ask? You've been working late a lot and you're always on your phone. Are you seeing someone else? Of course not. How could you think that? I've just been busy with the new project. Then why are you so secretive with your phone? You never let me see it anymore. I'm not being secretive. I just value my privacy. Don't you trust me? I want to, but your behavior is making it difficult. Can you understand why I'm worried? I see your point. I'll try to be more open. Maybe we need to work on our communication. Conversation 35. Making suggestions. Listen and practice. I think we should redecorate the living room. What do you think? That could be nice. What did you have in mind? Maybe a new color scheme and some modern furniture. Do you have any ideas? How about a minimalist style? It could make the room feel bigger. That's interesting. Could we incorporate some plants to add life to the space? Great idea. We could also consider changing the lighting to create different moods. I like that. Should we look at some home decor magazines for inspiration? Sounds good. We could also visit some furniture stores this weekend to get ideas. Conversation 36. Responding to suggestions. Listen and practice. What if we took a cooking class together? That's an interesting idea. What kind of cuisine were you thinking? Maybe Italian or Thai. Which would you prefer? Italian sounds fun. When were you thinking of doing this? How about next month? We could do it on Saturday evenings. That could work. Do you know of any good cooking schools nearby? I heard about one downtown that has great reviews. Shall I look into it? Yes, please do. It sounds like a fun way to spend time together and learn something new. Conversation 37. Party planning. Listen and practice. We need to start planning for the office Christmas party. Any ideas? How about a winter wonderland theme? We could decorate with white and silver. That sounds lovely. What about the venue? Should we book a restaurant or rent a hall? A hall might give us more flexibility for decorations. What do you think about the food? Good point. For food, how about a mix of traditional Christmas dishes and some vegetarian options? Sounds perfect. Should we hire a DJ or have a live band for entertainment? A DJ might be more versatile. We should also plan some party games to break the ice. Great idea. Let's make a list of everything we need and start delegating tasks. Conversation 38. Weekend Plans Listen and practice. Do you have any plans for this weekend? Not yet. Do you want to do something together? How about a day trip to the beach? The weather's supposed to be nice. That sounds fun. Should we invite some friends to join us? Good idea. Maybe we could have a small picnic there too. I like that plan. I can prepare some sandwiches. What else should we bring? Let's bring some games like frisbee or volleyball. And don't forget sunscreen. Definitely. I'll pack a cooler with drinks. This is going to be a great day. Conversation 39. Holiday Activities Listen and Practice Christmas is coming up. What holiday activities should we do this year? How about going ice skating and seeing the holiday lights display downtown? That sounds fun. Could we also bake Christmas cookies together? Absolutely. We could invite some friends over for a cookie decorating party. Great idea. Should we also plan a day for Christmas shopping? Yes, we should. Maybe we can make a list of gifts we need to buy first. Good thinking. Oh, and what about watching some classic Christmas movies? Perfect. We can have a movie marathon with hot cocoa. This holiday season is going to be great. Conversation 40. Travel Stories Listen and Practice Remember our trip to Italy last year? That was amazing. It really was. What was your favorite part of the trip? I loved exploring the ancient ruins in Rome. How about you? For me, it was the delicious food in Florence. 
Do you remember that little trotteria? Oh yes, the pasta there was incredible. We should try to recreate that dish at home. Great idea. What other trips do you want to take in the future? I've always wanted to visit Japan. The culture fascinates me. How about you? Japan sounds wonderful. I'd love to see the Northern Lights in Norway someday. Conversation 41. Sharing memories. Listen and practice. Do you remember our first date? Of course. We went to that little coffee shop downtown. Yes, and you spilled your latte all over yourself. Oh no, don't remind me. I was so embarrassed, but you were very understanding. It was cute. I knew then that I wanted to see you again. Do you remember our first kiss? How could I forget? It was under the stars at the park. That was so romantic. We've come a long way since then. Haven't we? We certainly have. And I'm looking forward to making many more memories with you. Conversation 42. Buying a house. Listen and practice. I think we're ready to start looking for a house to buy. What do you think? I agree. Do you have any specific areas in mind? I like the suburbs to the north. Good schools and lots of green spaces. You? That sounds nice. I'd also consider the east side. It's closer to work for both of us. Good point. What features are most important to you in a house? I'd love a big kitchen and a yard. How about you? I want at least three bedrooms and a home office. Should we contact a real estate agent? That's a good idea. Let's make a list of our must-haves and start looking this weekend. Conversation 43. Hotel Reservation. Listen and practice. Hello. I'd like to make a reservation for next weekend. Certainly. How many nights will you be staying with us? We're planning on three nights. Do you have any rooms with a king-size bed available? Yes, we do. Would you prefer a city view or a park view? Park view would be lovely. What's the rate for those rooms? The rate is $200 per night. Would you like to proceed with the booking? That sounds good. Is breakfast included in that rate? Yes, breakfast is included. Can I have your name for the reservation? Conversation 44. Airport check-in. Listen and practice. Good morning. I'm here to check in for my flight to New York. Good morning. May I see your passport and booking confirmation, please? Here you are. I'd like to request a window seat if possible. Certainly. I'll see what's available. Do you have any bags to check? Yes, I have one suitcase to check in. All right. Please place it on the scale. Your bag is within the weight limit. Here's your boarding pass. Thank you. What time does boarding begin? Boarding starts at 10.30 a.m. at gate 15. Have a good flight. Conversation 45. Taking a taxi. Listen and practice. Taxi, can you take us to the central station, please? Sure thing. Hop in. Do you need help with your luggage? Yes, please. We have two large suitcases. No problem. I'll put them in the trunk. Are you catching a train? Yes, we're taking the 3 p.m. train to Chicago. How long will the ride take? With current traffic, about 30 minutes. We should get you there in plenty of time. That's great. Is it okay if we pay by credit card? Absolutely. I'll let you know when we arrive. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Conversation 46. Expressing concern. Listen and practice. You don't look well. Are you feeling okay? To be honest, I've been better. I think I might be coming down with something. I'm sorry to hear that. Have you taken your temperature? Not yet, but I've been feeling feverish and achy. That doesn't sound good. Maybe you should see a doctor. You're probably right. I'll try to get an appointment tomorrow. Good idea. Is there anything I can do to help in the meantime? Could you pick up some cold medicine for me? That would be really helpful. Conversation 47. Giving advice. Listen and practice. 
I'm having trouble sleeping lately. Do you have any advice? Have you tried establishing a regular bedtime routine? Not really. What kind of routine do you suggest? Try going to bed at the same time each night and avoid screens an hour before sleep. That makes sense. Any other tips? Avoid caffeine in the evening and maybe try some relaxation techniques, like deep breathing. Those are good ideas. Do you think I should see a doctor if it continues? If it persists for more than a few weeks, it might be worth consulting a professional. Conversation 48. Renting a car. Listen and practice. Hi, I'd like to rent a car for the weekend. What options do you have? We have several options. Are you looking for a compact, midsize, or SUV? A midsize would be perfect. What's the daily rate? The midsize is $50 per day. Would you like to add insurance? What does the insurance cover? It covers damage to the car and theft. It's an additional $15 per day. Okay. I'll take the insurance. Do I need to return it with the full tank? Yes. Please return it with a full tank. Now, can I see your driver's license? Conversation 49. Visiting a lost and found. Listen and practice. Excuse me, I lost my wallet yesterday. Is this the lost and found? Yes, it is. Can you describe your wallet, please? It's a brown leather wallet with my initials, LM on the front. Let me check our records. When and where do you think you lost it? I think I left it in the cafeteria around lunchtime yesterday. I see. Can you tell me what was inside the wallet? My driver's license, two credit cards, and about $50 in cash. Good news. We have a wallet matching that description. Let me get it for you. Conversation 50. Job interview. Listen and practice. Can you tell me about your experience in this field? I've been working in marketing for five years, specializing in digital campaigns. Interesting. What's your biggest professional achievement so far? I increased our clients' online engagement by 200% in just six months. How does this role differ from my current position? This role has more leadership responsibilities. How do you handle team management? I believe in open communication and setting clear goals. Can you tell me more about the company culture? We prioritize innovation and work-life balance. Do you have any other questions for me? Yes. What opportunities for professional development do you offer?